G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD and welcome back to episode number 11 of the Foot Champions DeLorean. My channel ads today, in front of you on your screen, is going to be the final five games that I did play of the Foot Champions Weekend League. You will see that I do, no not five, it was around, I played around 18 but I showed you the five that I did get wins I believe. So I did end up getting 15 wins out of 18 games this weekend league. Not a bad performance, 15 and three. Not too bad for the team that I had considering. So not a bad performance from the boys. I do, uh, I, do I am fairly enjoying this squad, especially team of the season Lalana, using him using him in these late stages of FIFA. It's, it's fun lads, it's really fun. But lads, to move on into the questions from the previous episode, thank you so much. No, previous two episodes, thank you, sorry. Uh, so two epi episodes ago. Thank you so much for the support in that video. I believe we got around 39 likes. Once again, you guys smashed it. So in this video, could we smash 35? I know you guys can do it. You always hit it. Thank you so much for your support. But to jump into the questions from the three, three team of the group stage player pack uh, video, and uh, yeah, let's jump into those now. Cool Television says, why are you so mean to your opponents you play? Some people who aren't as good as you would find it so offensive. Think about the little kids' dreams and tears you have destroyed by smashing them and dabbing when you beat them in the daily knockout tournaments. By the way, first time watching and you've gained a subscriber. Well, I find this funny, but all of my haters, <coughs> sorry, all of my haters that come onto this channel <laughs> Actually subscribing to I don't get it lads. Honestly, don't get it uh, There was one guy who accused me of bullying people because I was shushing them and I, I, I roasted him a bit I sort of gave it to him uh, if you're watching this video Thank you very much for the sub because you did say you subbed but I don't get it He subbed and he likes the video when he's hating on me this guy cool, cool television He's subbing and he's and he's and he's hating on me for, for celebrating. I don't get it, but thank you so much for the sub, Cool Television. I appreciate it. You are contributing to the 1,000 subscriber mark that we are after, and uh, we are so close, lads. 27. Well, from when I'm recording this, 27 away. When you're watching this, we might have a few more, but basically. We're so close to 1,000 lads. So looking forward to that. You say, why? Yeah, I oh, sorry, I read that out. But yeah, basically, um, I want to say, I don't get your logic there, my friend. You think I'm trying to destroy kids' dreams and tears? Okay? Um, are kids' dreams actually winning a DKT? And are kids crying because they're losing a DKT? If you're crying, if you're a kid, watching this video and you're crying because you lose the DKT and your dreams are winning the DKT, let me know. Because I'd be really surprised if you guys are honestly dreaming and crying when you lose in the game. Because apparently to cool, cool television, you cry and you dream about winning the DKT. And by me smashing you, I'm I'm, I'm being mean to you. How, how, does, that, how does that make sense? I don't, I don't sort of... I don't sort of understand what you're trying to get at here, Cool Television. You say, some people who aren't as good as you would find it so offensive. How is a celebration in a game offensive? So when Paul Pogba dabs in the corner after he scored a goal for Manchester United, is that offensive? Is that offensive? Do people find that offensive? Is it against a religion? Is it discrimination of a race? Is it a discrimination of a gender? I think not. I don't think it is. So how is that being offensive? You then go ahead and say, think about how little kid dreams and tears you have destroyed by smashing when you dab on them. I don't, I don't understand, man, my friend. Like, what is your logic here? I, I don't understand where you're coming from. You then say, by the way, first time watching you and you've gained a subscriber. Thank you so much for the sub. I really do appreciate it, but your logic there, I have no idea what it is, and uh, I'm just going to leave that comment, and I'll let you think about what you've said. I don't know if you really meant it that way, I don't know, but uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next question. Tom O'Brah says, nice video, and I won't say the word, but he said the N word. Well, thank you very much for the kind words, my friend, but could we try and limit the the sort of racist comments in uh, in the in the comment section that would be much appreciated. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for the kind words, my friend. But 
just try and minimize that sort of racist stuff. Rehoa says, an awesome video, bro. You're growing so fast. I remember when you had 30 subscribers and I was one of the three people that commented on your videos. So close to 1,000 subs and we are so close. I am so looking forward to the Q&A that I'm going to be doing. What I will be doing is around 5 to 10 subs before I hit 1,000. I'm going to create a video saying, guys, add all of your questions down below. And I mean, go ham. One, two, three questions, whatever. Add them down below, and I'll be picking all of the best ones for the uh, you know 1K Q&A video. And it won't be just about FIFA. You can ask me anything you want. You can ask me my my, my race, my 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 gender, my, my gender. You can ask me anything you want, personal, whatever. Uh, down in the comment section down below. So. I'm looking forward to making that video where you guys answer your questions and then of course I'm looking forward to the day that we hit 1,000 subscribers which I'm pretty sure that day is coming very soon so I can't wait lads we are going to be celebrating hard when that comes when, when we hit 1,000 subs so thank you very much for the kind words Rahoa and yeah we are really close my friend Adam 80234 this is an amazing video Aussie still loving the great content even though FIFA 17 is now dead excuse me I used to the thing is, when I get sick, I, you know, a few episodes ago I was sick, I get asthma, and I had bad asthma as a kid, and when I get sick, it comes back to me and sort of, it really does hinder the way I breathe. So, I try and breathe uh, uh, normal when I'm talking here, but I will have to take a deep breath every now and then. But to continue a question, you, says, you say, are you planning to do other series than an RTG in FIFA 18? Maybe career mode? Uh, one of my favourite modes, he says. What are some tips on starting... Uh, on starting to maybe do foot champions next year in FIFA for I think he meant for FIFA 18 not 17 he says still grinding divisions in my first full weekend league I got gold one <sighs> excuse me which is good for me hopefully I can do that better next week keep up the good work only 29 subs away from 1000 you're wrong my friend we are 26 no 27 away from 1000 we are so close thank you very much for the support there Adam to be honest I probably won't be doing a career mode now I did answer this and I said you know career mode is not really my thing I hope you can respect that you know career mode is just in general, single player play up uh, games bore me bore the hell out of me. You know, I, I I hate campaigns and shooting games. I hate campaigns in GDA. Not that I play those games, but I just hate campaigns in general. I just like online gameplay. It's just my thing. I don't like career mode. I hope you can respect but respect that. But we will have different series on the channel next year. Hopefully that you will enjoy Adam. So be sure to watch out for those. Jake FH says, Hope you are getting better soon. Great video by the way. Thank you so much, great uh, Jake. You uh, have been in a lot of videos lately. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, my friend. And, uh, yeah, thank you for the kind words. Callum McNally says, Great video. I got a DC in the... Oh, man, that frustrates me. Frustrates me to hear that from you, and it frustrates me because I'm hoping EA can fix these issues in FIFA 18. It's a big issue now, and they can honestly... I know they know about it. Obviously, they do because everyone complains about it. They know about it. If they don't fix the DC issues... What does it look like for the future of esports with FIFA? Because it just looks shit, to be honest with you. If they can't fit simple issues like DC and cheating in their game, how's esports going to get bigger and expand? I don't know how it is. Yeah, it does annoy me, Callum. So unlucky there, my friend. You did, obviously, after... I think it was 13 hours afterwards, you did say um, that you did win anyway. So congratulations on that. Uh, yeah. Josh Pullen says, Ozzy, why did you quit sell the te team of the tournament? Someone had a bid on him for 44k. Well, to be honest with you, my friend, um, it's called... Well, Samuel actually re re replied to that and said, it's called coin transferring. And I replied to that and I said, yes, man, that was someone transferring coins. I bet he doesn't get banned. And yeah, I bet he doesn't get banned, you know. <coughs> Obviously, if you're new to the channel and you don't already know, my main account for the Foot Champions Weekend, well, our main account for the Foot Champions Weekend, uh, Foot Champions to Glory series on this channel got banned, unfortunately, so it is a little bit sad. However, it is what it is. My bad for transferring 50k to a team, to a, to a friend, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, rebuild our team to at least a decent standard before FIFA 17 ends. CFC RMFC says fre uh, fresh trim, and yeah, my friend, in fact, 
Uh, I, I, I posted on Twitter about my, my haircut. Obviously, in the last episode, you would have seen it. But uh, basically, in fact, that brings me on to Twitter. If you guys want to see all my tweets, which I tweet a lot of personal stuff. I tweet a lot of uh, about stuff about FIFA. In general, uh, I just tweet about everything. Go and follow my Twitter. The links will be in the description down below. But basically, yeah, I can just interact with you guys there as well when I'm not uploading and when it's not in the comment section. So be sure to go and follow me on Twitter. It's much appreciated, lads. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your support. Hild Melin. He says, nice video. Uh, by the way, will you make an epi of the Foot Champions highlights? Well, I am, my friend. That is the, that is this episode and a few episodes ago I did uh, the epi of the of the of the of the first five games. So I don't know why you uh, asked that, but yeah, thank you very much for the kind words, Hild. And uh, yeah, this is uh, highlights of the Foot Champions weekend league. William Mebrachu says, nice video, mate. Thank you so much for the kind words. And as you will see, lads, in the end, we are doing really decent. As Marshall scores a really nice goal, holding off the defender there. And we're giving Dab number three, lads, in the 77th minute. There was no way of my opponent coming back. I do believe he did score it to make it 3-2 in this game. Am I wrong? Once the replay finishes. Um... No, he didn't. So it was 3-1 final score. My bad for getting that wrong. But basically, I will quickly go into some questions from the previous episode that I said I'd re-answer. Because remember, I went through those and I didn't get time to finish the last five or so. So I will go through those right now. I believe Rehoa was the first one from those five. Rehoa, you say, is there a chance you could do a live stream for the 1,000 sub special and maybe play some subs or something uh, on kickoff if you wanted to make a new account to add us? That would be sick. And yeah, my friend, I do believe that's not bad. I am thinking about uh, live streaming, definitely. The playing the subscriber thing is definitely a good idea, but not at this point in time. I will be doing it, but not at this point in time. However, the live stream thing is a good idea. I'm thinking about doing it. The only thing I don't have is a webcam, which does connect to OBS. So I need to get a webcam. I will be purchasing one soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, hopefully in the future we will be able to live stream and I can interact with you guys live. That would be amazing. Tommy Ash, says 23, says, where are you in Oz? And I am in Queen Queensland, my friend. Dubmaster2 says, Kent, can't wait for FIFA 18. Neither can I. Absolutely. Uh, I'm pumped. I'm pumped for FIFA 18, lads. I'm pumped. I want to make regionals for you guys. I cannot wait. Kalya Haljia. I think your name... I mean, if I roasted that, I'm really sorry. But you say, Aussie, I'm so happy I beat my record this weekend league. I got 31 wins. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really do congratulate you, my friend. That is an amazing achievement. 31 wins. Fantastic. It's fantastic. Enjoy your Elite 3 rewards, my friend. Flip OG Benjamin Anderson still lens, sends lenses first. Thank you for being first. I really do appreciate it. All of you who turn up and uh, especially the, all of you who put on notifications. It's You're my boys, lads. You're my boys. So thank you so much for that, Ben. Uh, I do appreciate it. But lads... In the end, we did finish our gameplay with 15 wins, as we do make it another 3-1 result. Bellerin, of all people, smashing that home into the bottom corner. A lovely finesse, and obviously, the low driven is just so overpowered. Butland could not save it. What a result, lad. 3-1. This is the game, I believe, where he came back 3-2. Uh, to, to make it a little bit worrying, as you see, he does drive forward. Son intercepts that from, uh, from... Sorry, he doesn't intercept, but he nearly did. Hazard goes through. He does a low driven, but I do believe that was the game. Or did we score 4-2? We might have scored... I did score a fourth in this game, actually, to make it 4-2. But this was the game that I did concede one goal to make it 3-2. Very worrying. However, I kept my composure, lads. Nice ball into Augustine, the uh, left back that I t packed from the team of the season pack. He beats everyone. What a... F well, that was unlucky, you know. Butlin just stripping it into the path of, of Lalana. That was definitely unlucky. But Augustine doing work. I tell you what, lads. He's a very good team of the season. However, I will tell you I am doing an SBC at the moment uh, it's a, it's a, I won't tell you I, I don't want to spoil it but this SBC is an amazing player and if I could get this in a, an RTG that's only three weeks old boy oh boy it's just gonna be I don't know I, I honestly don't how don't know how I'm gonna do it I can't believe that we could get this play in a three week old RTG I, I don't know how it would be possible definitely not possible last year nor the year before that but FIFA 17 is something different, especially with foot champions. But lads, that'll be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Can we smash 35 likes in this video? That would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. It is absolutely amazing, lads. Have a good day and peace.